hey guys welcome to coding simplified and now we'll solve a new problem in arrays so basically we are given two array which are unsorted right means there is no pattern and we need to have a union so union means that if we merge both the elements both the arrays then there should not be any duplicate element right so if you see in the first array we have some of the duplicates element like 4 2 and 3 and the second array also we have some duplicates like 1 and 2 so if we merge them so our final union should be this right it should be 4 2 3 5 9 1 7 so uh, what logics we can apply to have a union of two unsorted arrays right so one logic is that first of all we sort both the arrays and after that we apply the uh, the mechanism right so uh, that so that video we have already covered so that you can see in my previous one or two videos so it, it should be there now the complexity of that thing is that first of all you will sort the array right so the best complexity in sorting is either you will use the quick sort or you will use the merge sort so in the both the cases our complexity will be n log n right and after that we will have a union so in that it will be big of n plus m so let's say if we have an element in the uh, n element here and if you have m element here so it will be m plus n right so if you see the overall complexity that will be n log n right if we sort the arrays so now uh, we can improve that one we can we can we can have a union in big of n plus m effectively so what we can do basically for that we need to have a hashing right so in hashing what happens so let me directly explain you through uh, through code or through explanation how it will happen so basically uh, we'll take a set right so the so the functionality of set is that it will have always a unique element right so you can take hash set you can take a linked hash set whatever right but we'll take set right so now uh, for what we'll do we'll basically put we'll basically iterate the first uh, first element first array from here so let's say this is i and here this is j right so now uh, we'll take a set so let's say this is set and and in set we have we'll put the element so we'll start from the zeroth element of the of the first element from the array one and we'll keep on adding and we'll add all the elements of set right so now what will happen first of all it will, it will put 4 so now 4 is not here so it will put 4 here now a uh, 2 is also not here so now it will put 2 now 3 is not here it will put 3 5 is not here it will put 5 now after that uh, when we will add 4 into set the set will say that 4 is already there so it won't put here right again with the 2 so now this 2 is already here so it won't put in set 3 is already here so it won't put in set right so it means for the array 1 it will have these elements now we'll iterate the array 2 so uh, the same thing we'll do 1 by 1 by 1, by 1 will keep on adding the element into set now 9 is not here so it will put 9 here now 1 is not here it will put 1 here 7 is also not here it will put here but when it will do for 2 which is already here so it won't add elements here same for 4 it won't here for same for 2 1 and 2 all elements present in set right so if you see finally that you can see that all the elements here are unique element right they are not duplicate which is basically the same if you see the union right here we have the uh, seven elements and here also we have seven elements right so this is the basic logic this is how we can have the union of two unsorted element right and if you see uh, that uh, we solved this using big of n plus m right because basically you are doing the iteration first we did the iteration of the first element which had the n element and then we did the iteration of the second element second array which has the m element so effectively we did we solved this in big of n plus m time complexity right but though we have to use a space complexity as well because we are using set so uh, again uh, we can have the space complexity as n plus m because in worst case we can have all the duplicate of all the unique elements in both array and array 2 right so this will be my time complexity and this will be my space complexity right 
so this is this is the union of two unsorted arrays now let me show you through code that how we'll solve it so here is my code so basically what I'm doing here is uh, my first array and here is my second array and now uh, here I'm initializing a set right so here I am uh, I'm initializing a hash set and I'm passing the uh, array 1 and array 2 and final union into the uh, into my function union of two unsorted arrays and at the last time printing final union right so uh, this is my function union of two unsorted arrays right so uh, here my array 1 this is my array 2 and this is my final list so basically uh, whatever the values I will keep on adding the values in final list right so I will take one variable for the first array i and j for the second array now as simple that I'll basically just add all the elements into the set right and similarly I will add all the element into uh, the set for the second array as well right and at the last you will have all the unique element right so if I run the program as you can see that all the elements are unique at the finally right so that's the basic concept that we have seen that how we can do the union of any two unsorted arrays right so it was a basic problem just take set and then keep on add the element right so guys uh, that's it about this video if you have any doubt for it then please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and guys if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you